Hey guys! I'm just filming a thing today because like I'm doing it and I figure I may as well show you some of the behind the scenes work I guess that goes into <laughs> making your planner organized. So first of all you open this, it's beautiful right? It's got this you know cover flyleaf thing from Marlene's plan to create. It says now it's all esoteric and I've got this uh, you know collage of stickers and I did this in my April plan with me video link in the corner. That's great, right? I love that these dividers uh, allow me to like create a cover page for each section, even though it's not really how you use a tab. Well, it kind of is. Anyway, um, yeah, so the problem is we get into the confusing area of my planner. Everything between here and here. I've got a tab on the side, a tab on the side, and then three on the top. So this whole, all these sections are um, for reference and projects. And then the top tabs are for like dividing major projects. And let's see, I think from behind everything is okay. This has a cover page. This does not have a cover page. I'm gonna put a cover page here and then this one's fine. So that's what I'm doing today is I'm doing my cover pages and I'm reorganizing this a little bit as well, I think. So, let me see. This probably doesn't need to be anything fancy. So we'll just keep track. I need one here. Um, this one's okay. This one has one. This is a mess, so I need something here that like is opaque. Uh, so I can put my sticky notes on the other side. Then this project has its own cover page already. This one doesn't, but I might just put something generic. This one's fine. So, what did I say? One, two, three. Is that all? Okay. So I've just got some like papers and thingies that I've pulled out uh, to sort of throw something together here. I've got paper cutter and a hole punch. And possibly this brush pen. A couple stickers. A couple of these are actually dividers that have been used before. This one is just some acetate. It has a bunch of random words on it. This one is some like old. This is one of those um, Chic Sparrow feather stickers. I don't know if she still sends these with her orders. Um, and so everything is like rubbed off. It's got like this edge stuff that's all brown from that um, Asian vintage TN <laughs> that sort of bled on everything. So I don't think I'm going to use this. This one here used to be in the very front of my planner and I think I would like to use this again because I would forgotten about it and it's super cute. It's from the Little Red House. I got this at Comic-Con. So let's see. I don't know where I want to put this. Not here. Maybe we'll put it here. That'll do. This is my future log section. He looks, he, it, hedgehog, looks like it's gazing off to the future, right? So that one was easy. Two more. Um, yeah, so I like that, like this is actually a project page, but it's pretty, so it's its own cover. This one here, I think I'm gonna do something, use this other piece of acetate, and then this it's this is sort of a section for my pregnancy but this is my other baby anyway I'm gonna use this acetate and this is another sticker I got from comic-con forever ago uh, this one is from voodoo berry v u d u b e r i there we go and I think will this fit yes just I'm gonna put it down here, or maybe sort of a little bit in the middle, like that. There's one of those that like I never had the right use for it, but I like the idea of putting things on just an acetate divider because then you can like this, this one, just use it wherever, right? Let's see. Hope you guys are having a good May. I'm recording this mid to late April so I don't know 
at this point. Like, what is May even gonna look like? So does that look straight? I'm using the grid below as sort of a gauge, and there we go. Perfect. I feel like this is supposed to be some sort of a Pokemon thing. Tell me, is that a Pokemon that I don't know because I never played Pokemon? I was homeschooled, I was very sheltered. This project is hopefully gonna come together quickly. Um, trying to throw my brother's fiance, well, I think it's a couple showers so both of them, a uh, bridal shower. Let's see. So this one here, I'm gonna use this guy because it's a house, right? And it's like a lot of these projects are things around the house. So that's my thought here. I'm just gonna slice off three and a quarter inches wide. I got this paper to use for my little micro happy planner DIY that I used for the first like week of July last year. That was a weird month. I thought that was a good idea. It gave me something to make videos about when I was doing um, <laughs> One Book July, quote unquote One Book July. I was just making a video every day. And ended up using, I think only three, only three different books, but that's still more than one. All right, I'm just gonna punch this. And the nice thing that this doesn't have to be an actual divider, it's just sort of a cover page behind a divider. I don't think I'm gonna use this today. Uh, it's too wide anyway. Also from Comic Con, but this one doesn't have branding on it, so I don't know where it's from. All right, so there we go. That's, that's that, but I wanna put a header on it. And I think what I have to do before I can decide what the header says is organize these sections slightly differently. So basically it's up to here, these, these two, right? So project one is the garden in the backyard. Here it is. I think it's maybe next slide I can tell you by looking here. Uh, yeah, I think it's this weekend. I'm hoping to do a, a garden tour video. This is our square foot garden. So that's plan or project one. Project two is this bridal shower. And then project three is my pregnancy. That one is not gonna get finished as quickly. Uh, let's see, so I think we'll do, I'm gonna have my inbox here. I finally remade my inbox. It previously was like three pages long and confusing and getting full and I just, I just wrote inbox on the top. Um, had a couple things I needed to write in it and it was full, so I made a new one. And it goes behind the cover page. And then I think I'm gonna leave that just at the front of either reference or project pages. I think project, yeah, okay, sorry. Real quick. This is gonna go next, yeah. This is gonna go on this one. Let me take all these stickies off. So these stickies, I'll show you in a second, is they're my index. So this section will be reference, and this section will be general uncategorized projects. The idea then will not just be only three projects, because I can't limit that. A lot of them are small or things that I'm not working on. It's three active projects, right? And if I want to clear it out and work on a different project, I got to finish it up and like make actual progress instead of just letting it sit there. So this one will be reference. So that's what this is going to say. The thing is, I don't think if I just write the word reference on here, I think it might be too busy. So I think I have to put some sort of label sticker. I don't have as many of those as I would like. Let's see. Maybe. What was I thinking? Oh, maybe this one. I have these. This one here. Piece of scrap paper. I'm gonna test it first. 
Let's do our lowercase r there. More fun. Oh, no, see, that's way too big. Right? See that? Way too big. Um, hmm, maybe not. Here we go. Thought I'd lost it. This is the smaller version. So this is the Tombow Futo. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get this wrong if I don't read it. Does it say? Futenosuke or something like that. Basically, it's a Japanese calligraphy pen. There we go. Red. Bear. Red. This is not pretty. Yeah going to be worse and it's still it's still too big okay something like this I'm starting to think that lettering isn't worth it I'm never going to be happy if I write it myself with my own handwriting. So I'm going to forget that idea and just go with the blank. I was planning on doing something creative and artsy. I'm just going to leave it blank because that way it's, you know, universal and versatile and I can change it up and it won't matter. The point is just that the back of it is, is um, not transparent, is opaque so I can put reference things in here basically I have to sort these because right now it's like a project slash reference thing. Library books is reference, right? Here. Dinner. I want to remake both of these. Dinner ideas, then to watch, gift ideas, wish list, savings tracker. Yeah, okay. This is all reference. So... The idea of this sticky note index is because you can't really number pages in a ring bound system where you're moving things around all the time, like I'm doing today. Um, let's pull it out so it's flat. I use a sticky note, and that way at least I know what order they're in in the section. All right, uh, let's see. Sticky note, then I have paper books, then dinners, then to watch. Yeah, I didn't actually change the order of these, did I? Gift ideas slash wish 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 and then yeah, this one is a record of what I make in like ad revenue versus what I have to pay from like my website hosting and stuff like that. So honestly, actually. Honestly, actually, that should, that doesn't need to be in here. There's a reason for something to not be in here. It shouldn't be in here because this is such a catch-all. I'm going to put this in here, just in the back, because I have all of my content planning in here, in, in here, again, anyway. All right, um, so that's just not even going to be written there. And after gift ideas, wish list, then we have, yeah, gift card, gift card balance, I guess I'll say, or visa balance. I have these gift visas. Oh, I should have written that as one line. Anyway, um, sorry. Uh, I have these gift card visas that I've gotten from various things that I use for paying for like Patreon. I have a couple of Patreon Patreon people that I support, um, and I figure may as well just use those for that because even numbers it's easy to track. But I do actually have to keep track of it because if it runs out, they won't get paid, and that wouldn't be good. Um, though also it would be like the end of the world, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's terrible to say. All right. And there we go. Go through one more time. This is a little sneak preview flip through for this month cover page. This is, like I said, still April. It's going to look different than, than the, what. By the time you see this, I'll have done my plan with me. My gorgeous April cover page, which my daughter 
decorated for me. Then we have reference, not labeled, but that's fine because it has its sticky note index on the inside. At some point I'm going to remake these two. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and write those, write that on my inbox. I really need to do a brain dump. And these are some things. Remake, library, and dinner collections. The back of this library one is all the stuff that's currently checked out, but it doesn't have due dates because the library is suspending due dates until after it reopens. Um, oh, you know what? I actually didn't finish doing <laughs> putting these projects back in. So this is reference. Then this is projects, right? So the cover is this fun Harry Potter sticker thingy. We have the inbox right here. It's going to be in the projects one. I just have to remember it. It's the third tab. That's the thing I have to remember. So then this is all like, it probably, this blanket at some point will become urgent and require its own top tab, but not yet. Um, I'm just going to leave it as is though. I could put more, another sticky note index on the back here. And then we have our three main projects, backyard, bridal shower, and pregnancy. Then gunchy stuff, future log, and spare paper. This is becoming less and less relevant lately. I'm thinking I might want to consider taking it out all, all entirely, but I don't really know if I need an extra tab. But basically, because I'm working at home right now, and this will apply to maternity leave as well. There will probably be a period of time where I go back into the office, at least if only to train the person who's going to be doing my job while I'm on maternity leave. But if I'm stuck at home a lot, I don't need to have a lot of stuff that I'm carrying around with me, you know? Are any of you guys keeping less stuff in your planner as far as like supplies? Like not using a pen pouch, stuff like that? It's weird, right? Okay, so that is just thank you. Thank you for joining me on keeping me company on my little reorganizing adventure. Uh, I haven't touched the back pocket in a while. Oh no, I have. I took all the stickers out. Now all that's back here is cash, which means I need to go grab some more uh, checks so I don't forget them. Uh, there are some stickers that are tucked back here because I think I might want to use them um, in this next week, which I was just setting up before I filmed. So they're just kind of here and I will put them away when I don't need them anymore. Uh, yeah, as I say, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you found this fun or interesting at all. Most of my videos are a little bit more polished, but I appreciate you joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.